All right, we're rolling. Hello, friends and fellow flute enthusiasts, and thanks for tuning in. Today we have something special to bring to you. My name is Johnny, and many of you may know Eli. This is my son, Eli. Can you say hi, everybody? Hey. Eli plays the flute a little bit, and uh, is really uh, energetic and enthusiastic about it as well. He loves music. Before we roll into flutes today, though, I wanted to uh, we wanted to share something with you. Um, earlier this summer, bring those guys up. Earlier this summer, we did something with the kids so they could earn a little extra income to buy, you know, the video games and the things that they like. Um, and Eli had the little animal totems. You can see them here. We have several more online. And he wanted to say something to you. Thanks for buying them. Yeah, so thanks for supporting his endeavors and, and uh, our other kids' endeavors in that as well. So today, um, the reason Eli's here is to help demo some flutes. Uh, we have four new flutes that we'd like to share with you from Peter Churcher of Willow Creek Woodwork. Uh, the first one, I'm gonna grab the orange one. We have a couple of pocket style flutes and these are a little bit different than the Radiance flutes. They are made from epoxy which gives them um, a lot of color choices. Um, and I wanted to demonstrate or show to you the difference between the Radiance flutes and the Mystique flutes. Um, so this is the uh, one of the larger Radiance flutes and it has a slow air chamber and a block tied on top, much like how our, um, our normal native style flutes do. The Mystique line uh, is something a little bit different and it's more of a whistle style. So it removes the longer slow air chamber and the block being tied on top where this is mounted and secured, it's not removable. Um, and what it does is it just, it shortens the um, length of the flute. So it's perfect for um, if you're backpacking, uh, if you wanna put it in your backpack and take it out, not have to adjust the block and do all those things. And it makes it a little bit shorter for those as well. So Eli is going to demo, this is the, um, the F sharp, this is a high F sharp in um, orange. You want to give it a whirl and see how it sounds? Sure. All right. Yeah, sorry I messed it up, but you need to blow kind of hard and, and that can be somewhat troubling, but besides that there really good for traveling and stuff you know? yeah so with the little ones we do want to give it a little bit more breath especially on the higher end so I'll, I'll play this one after you play this is the key of e and this one is in yellow go ahead there you go good so on that higher end if you don't give it a little bit more breath it will be a little airy so we just got to push just a little bit more all right and then the e they have a really sweet tone to them as well and this i don't know if you can see in the lighting here but it's got some glitter in it and so it uh, has a nice effect All right, so this one, you can see it's kind of a small flute. This one comes in at about 10 inches and the E comes in at about 11 inches. So we've got two other ones. These are the pocket style, the two other ones that we have. This one is the, um, the Traveler in blue. This is in the key of G. And then we have the um, red one here, which is in the key of F sharp. The G is at 17 inches with a three quarter inch bore. And the red one is in the key of F sharp. It's 18 inches with a three quarter inch bore. So really, um, Really interesting uh, looking flutes. Uh, we love the vibrancy, the color of these flutes, um, and also the tone that they produce. The pocket flutes, they're pretty cool, aren't they? The little short ones. Eli was excited by those, to see those in the box. Uh, we wanna give a shout out to Peter Churcher of Willow Creek Woodwork. 
thanks for um, bringing these flutes to life um, and <laughs> putting up with my antics about, you know, hey, let's make this, this key, this color, and so forth and so on. Anyway, we want to say a big thanks. And did you have anything else to share? No. No? Okay. Well, that's it for today, folks. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks for all your support, all your love and comments, likes, shares. If you're new to this channel and you love everything Native American flute, um, please consider subscribing. We appreciate those very, very much. And we hope to see you again in another video. And maybe we'll see Eli in another video. Take care. Bye.